Hi guys, so for the first time ever, my car mount isn't tripping because like I feel like when I first got it, it was doing well, but now like I try, this is bothering me. This is really bothering me. But now I try to like put my phone in it of course so I can chat with y'all and it just like it'll just come down because of the weight that's on it and it's super annoying but it's actually acting right right now and I don't know what the cause is so welcome back to the vlog this morning I filmed a real a reel called true life I haven't worn my hair all week and it's the truth I have not the, the gag is though <laughs> look at this um headbands with lace fronts will save your life like beautician who i'm just about to throw a headband on that coordinates with my outfit and call it a day if i want to have hair and then some days i might want to be bald headed so at work they were just like we never know which megan we're gonna get and don't and don't I don't even know which Megan I'm gonna wake up as. So we both just be surprised, all of us together. So right now I am at, at home. Um, I said like in my last vlog that I am basically like building out my office. So I found these cute chairs and other things online but before i purchase them and i commit to it i want to see if i can actually find anything that is like just readily available for me to purchase there's these two chairs that i found that i absolutely love but they're like 749 dollars which i'm okay with paying that it's fine with me however like paying that and then having to not me i'm not putting it together I'm not putting it together but having my man put it together and i could possibly see something in here that i already like excuse me that i just need to like slide into my back seat if that's the case i'm okay with that too but here's the pieces that are missing from my office i already have two pieces of art like large pieces of art i need to order the led picture lights from off of Amazon. I already have my chair, my desk chair, because I'm gonna keep the one that I currently have. My current desk is being moved into my filming room where I'm going to do makeup tutorials. So that's where my current desk is going. Now, the desk that I actually want is the Alex one from Ikea. Um, and it's the black version with the black top and the black drawers on it. But you guys know, like if you get things from Ikea, it comes in 10 million pieces. And so I just didn't want to put my husband through that for putting it together. But if I can find a black desk that's here, I'm okay with it. And then those two chairs, I ordered my drapes. I ordered my rod for my drapes. The ceilings that are inside of my office are like 10 feet. So I had to get a 108 inch um, curtains to go in there. So I have that ordered. I'm also missing a buffet that I want to go in the front of my actual office. I wanna put a TV in there for the vibes. And then I wanna have two bookcases like behind my desk and like a little dresser to go back there because I have like documents and stuff that I need for my business to like put in there so yeah I planned on ordering all of this last week this week wait next week oh my god next week but like I said if I can find a few things here then I'm okay with that too also it is a very rainy and gloomy day outside and I'm definitely like a weather contingent person like when it's looking like this I want to be at home with sweatpants on I don't I don't want to be out and about I really don't but I'm 
we're gonna make the most of this we're gonna go in here see if they have what we're looking for and and call it a day all right let's go i'm really i'm really if you can tell i'm procrastinating i just don't it's drizzling outside i just really don't also going to close my sunroof because I don't want to look at the rain from my roof coming in. Um, I have like a, a moon roof, I guess that's what you call it, because it's both panels. But okay, guys, here we go. We're going to do it. We got this. Okay, so this little couch I saw it online. It's only $3.98, $3.99. My couch budget was like $4.98. So that would fit perfectly like in my space. And then here is the matching chair and it's $2.99. So I'll do a little sit test. I just kind of feel like this though might be like a little too small um and then over here this is really cute too it's 5.99 it's outside of my price budget but i feel like this is a little bit bigger than the other couch that was over there and then this is the matching chair and also there's another chair right here and it's not awful but just not my style Okay, so I really didn't see anything that I liked in particular. So I think I'm just gonna stick to getting my stuff online and just having to wait to receive it. On top of that, I found that when I go in stores like this, it makes me very overwhelmed. Like there's a lot that's going on. And also like, I'm just being bitchy now. But like the decor being everywhere is giving me anxiety and also it just feels like a doctor's office or a dentist's office when you go in at home. I did get a snack though. I got these pork rinds, fried chicharrones, sea salt and cracked black pepper. For anybody that cares. It's always like good to have pork rinds like for a bariatric babe such as myself, just because of the fact that this doesn't have any carbs. And I was trying to look at the like protein on here and it has eight, eight grams of protein per serving. So that's for half of the bag and then for the whole bag it's like 32 grams so i got these let's do a little taste test mm. and that's him here's my only thing though so when i was little with my little mama who's my grandma she would call them skins and so with the skins that she would eat it had like the little fat like on the inside of it but this one doesn't have the fat and so it's like i'm getting the fix that i need but also at the same time it's kind of lacking so i got up i got some twizzlers I'm trying to get it to, to focus on the Twizzlers. Got some Twizzlers that I'll probably only be able to eat two of. I got some lemonade. 
And then I got this little do what makes your soul happy. I got this. Now, here's my little thing. I don't know what the hell this looks like on the inside, so I guess we could do that right now. It was eight dollars, so I was just like, whatever. But I was like, oh, this stuff is the decor of my office, so. And I'm always like looking for notebooks, planners, things like that. That's like my addiction. Okay, so it's just like a little notebook. I could have gotten real unlucky to where it would have had some type of dumbass like quotes on the inside but it's just it's just blank and I can appreciate that because I have so many ideas inside of my head that I need to get out like onto a notebook and sometimes I'm a digital girly like with planning and sometimes I'm not sometimes I need paper and a pen so I'm I'm good with that like I'm happy about that purchase Mmm, mmm, that's so good. Now I'm just gonna dump out. Actually, I have some water that's in here and I was gonna dump it out, but this lemonade is not sugar free. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in with my water to dilute it a little bit. Not a little bit, like a lot of it. So I'm just like really thirsty. And after eating pork rinds, like, it's not going to make it any better. So, yeah, like, I'm not sad about the fact that I didn't find anything. I'm fine with it because I already have all my stuff picked out online anyways. It was just a, a matter of me being impatient and seeing if I could find That's really good. Seeing if I could find something like here, but it's fine. Like, I really wonder how sweet this would have been without me diluting it, because it's still pretty sweet. And I have like, I want to say like 20 ounces of water that was in there before. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna take this bag back in with me or just the stuff that I bought. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the vlog for today. I'll see what we're getting into um, later this weekend. Probably nothing. Besides working. So, yeah. Hi, guys. So it's Saturday and I just got done like watching some YouTube videos. I was so tired this morning. It's um well it's not morning. It's twelve twenty four in the afternoon and last night I stayed like I stayed at my office, I recorded a video, I was trying to make sure like not actually edit it because the video is like 40 minutes long i just wanted to make sure that i dropped the actual like clips of what was recorded into adobe premiere pro and y'all when i tell you that like one of the platforms that i use to be able to like um export my videos from off of my device and like into my actual editing platform it took like an hour and I know that it was because of the fact that the video was so long and that's fine but I'm just tired like I need to get up and film content during the daylight too so I'm gonna do that but I might just take like a quick little nap before hand because I'm so tired but I definitely like I'm trying to challenge myself to do like two reels a day um on the weekends not necessarily during the week but on the weekends because like I have the time to be able to like do a reel 
of excuse me of get ready with me and doing that like in my bathroom or whatever of me putting on my makeup and my wigs or styling my own hair and then once like I get to the office I can talk through my outfit or take pictures of my outfit and things like that so I want to make sure that I am using my time well it's just very hard today because I am very tired so I'll decide like in a few minutes and and also on top of that like it gets dark outside so fast and so it's like you can't even utilize the daytime light as much um i'm also thinking about thinking about but not sure if i'm gonna do it or not um doing vlogmas and the reason being is because like i have so much content that i can post in the month of december and so i think that it would be cool to do that but at the same time like i don't know if I'm a person that should be on camera every day because I got an attitude. Like I get an attitude, I have a stressful, um, you know, daytime job. And sometimes like as much as I don't like to bring that home with me and I try to like detach from it, sometimes I do and that's just the reality of the situation. So I just don't know if I'm the type of person that should be doing vlogmas and be on camera every single day but I mean I would just like to like challenge myself and see how it goes especially with like one of my goals and I have a video that I'm going to be putting out for like what my 2024 goals are but one of them is just to you know make sure that I am disciplined and consistent with my content on top of like the quality as well and how good is the quality gonna be if you're like constantly rushing to get content up like on a daily basis i don't know so we'll just see i'll see you guys um at my office i might drop a clip in here of me doing my makeup but we'll see hey guys i am in my office and we've gotten these two packages right here so we're gonna do an unboxing I need to figure out like where to sit y'all so we can like do this effectively though so let me figure that out okay so I think that this first one is just my first set of drapes because over in the window over there I'm gonna do like two different drape vibes one is going to be the outside of it is going to be like black velvet and then the inside is going to be a sheer like beige color so let's see which ones these are and then i'm going to ask my maintenance guy it's the black ones so i'm going to ask my maintenance guy to put them up and if he can't then i'll have my husband do it y'all what they look like i'm gonna put them in the box but look at that such good quality i love like a good black velvet because it's just so luxurious and that's the look we're going for and i think these are actually blackout too so stay tuned for when those are actually put up make sure you're subscribed um next up is a package that i got from shein and it's just oh fuck it's just what do i do with my pen great job megan it's just um some office decor items that i don't know if y'all know this but shein has a nice little selection of like home decor things Good lord. And I'm very nervous about this because I have things in here that are easily breakable and you know, it's coming right from China. So 
there's that. We'll see how this went, the transport part. Alright, not one side open. I'm also going to show y'all my outfit because it's really cute. Okay. Let's see what we got. Honestly, I don't remember because I ordered this weeks ago. Okay. So, period. We got this, and I'm going to use this as a holder for my ink pens and my ink pens and my highlighters, like, on my desk. That's what this looks like. Maybe we should throw ourselves in cinematic view. Hold on. Okay. So, let's do that. So, I got this. And I'm going to use it for my ink pens and all of my highlighters. So, that'll look super cute. And then, and also, like, it's time for this wig to go in the trash. It's on his last leg. Let's see what this is. Like, I'm dead ass, y'all. Like, I don't remember what I got. I know that something's breakable, but other than that. Oh, this is, oh, shit. This is my, this is my pompous. So, with my last pompous, I had to put it I had to spray paint it not spray paint it child I had to spray it with hairspray first and then put it in and this is actually going to go into and this is what it looks like like in the actual package I'm not gonna take it out right now because it'll go everywhere so my thing with this is the fact that I need to put hairspray on it before I set it up in here, but it's going in my large beige, beige vase. And then, I got this as a little holder just for my cell phone. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's just like a little acrylic thing for my cell phone to go on my desk, like so. That's how it'll look, just like that. Maybe I should turn it on because it's just a screen of myself. So that's cute. Okay. This is the part that I was worried about is transporting this. I mean, I do remember that I got a tissue holder. I'm trying to figure out what the best way is to open this so that the white stuff doesn't go everywhere. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to sweep it up regardless. My hands feel so ashy. like the entryway like is that where yeah it's like is that where I'm supposed to be putting it's, who knows okay oh my god this is to die I just got a sneak peek this is to die period This pen is like, you working me out. Oh my god. You guys. You guys. Oh my god. I'm just 
just gonna give you a nice little sneak peek. Look. Oh my gosh. It's for tissues. It's it's for tissues. It's a tissue box, but like the decor, the decor, like, are you serious? It's a tissue box. I'm so excited about that. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got. And now these little things are going to be every freaking year. So I'm not really, like, I'm going to set up a few things on my desk, but I have, like, very limited desk space at this point. And so I have put this, like, on my Instagram story, um, there is this desk that I am absolutely in love with from CB2. This desk is $999, okay? But, but it is 63 inches. I need all that space because I have a Mac, um, a Mac desktop, and that's where I do a lot of my editing and also like like my editing for my videos and my editing for my pictures before they go up on my website. Like I need, and I think that's a 32 inch screen, but I'm not sure. So I have that. And then there's other times where like I'm exporting a video on there and I'm working on my actual MacBook, like while that's going on. So I need the space because I don't have that right now. There's just so many things that are on here and I need the mood asap so i think that whenever i get my tissue box of course is not actually going to go on my desk i think that it's either going to go on this little side table that i have over here or it's going to go behind me on this buffet that I'm creating or on the front buffet. I don't know, child, but it's not gonna actually be on my actual desk, but I'll show you guys like how crowded my desk is right now. Hold on. And then I'll show you my fit. Okay, this is my desk situation with the things that I just unboxed. See, and it's just, it's not big enough. So that 63 inch desk, that I'm gonna be investing in will be perfect in here because I need all that space. And then over here is where I was talking about potentially putting the tissue box. Let's see just what it looks like. But this wouldn't end up staying here. And then I'm putting pompous in that big part right there. So let's just see. I think that this is actually going to go on my buffet whenever I get it. That's a lot going on. Yeah, that might be a little too much. That might be a little too much. We'll have to rethink that because that with the candle is too much. It's getting crowded. We don't want that. So we'll have to find another place for that. But it was just an idea. It was an idea that was a terrible one. Um. Anyways, I guess we can walk out here so I can show you the fit. And now I have like the white fuzzy stuff on me though. But look, how cute is this? This skirt was $7 from Shein. $7. This sweater was hella expensive, but everything in American Eagle is expensive. I feel like, I mean, it was $49. So this sweater boots are from um, Walmart and so are my tights. If you follow me on, what is it called? Shoot. If you follow me on um, social media, you'll see that I created a reel of like two different ways to actually wear this look. So look out for that. I put together just two different like ways. Like if you don't like slouchy, a more of a fitted look for that. So yeah. Okay guys, so I just finished up working for the night. It's very 
dark outside, so I'm about to go and have, well, actually, I need to empty out this coffee. And then I told my husband that I wanted to have a movie night tonight. And I'm very hungry, like I don't eat today. Yeah, I told him I wanted to have a movie night. I do like have a craving for some popcorn. So I'm gonna make that and also just make like some actual dinner for him and the kids. Um, I do need to move this, I need to move this mirror back into my office. Give me a sec. Okay, got that one. If I don't see you again, and if I end up ending the vlog here, which I probably will, because at this point, it's like, like 30 minutes long. <laughs> it might even be at 40. So I might just end the vlog here. Um, yeah. If I do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me think of something. I want you guys to comment on. So do you guys um, set up your Christmas decorations before or after Thanksgiving? I find that a lot of people do it before and I might be one of those because I think I'm going to do mine tomorrow. So drop me some comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I appreciate and love each and every one of you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.